Can you talk a little bit more about insulin resistance and, you know, it's, it's not the same as having diabetes or being like pre-diabetic or something like that. It's something that you can't even see from the outside, right? Yeah, for the most part, very much true. And, you know, while, you know, diabetes, pre-diabetes are end results of insulin resistance, um, while obesity certainly makes it more likely for you to be insulin resistant, um, you can have none of those things. You can be, you know, normal weight, not diabetic, not pre-diabetic, and you can still be insulin resistant. Uh, and the other important thing to understand here is that if you have gotten to the point that you're diabetic, um, we're talking about type 2 diabetes, mm -hmm. uh, or if your doctor has told you you're pre-diabetic, you know, again, on your way to type 2 diabetes, it means that you have already been insulin resistant for a long period of time, uh, maybe as much as five to 10 years. Uh, and that's the other power of looking for insulin resistance, right? Because if we detect that early, we can prevent that other stuff. We can reverse that other stuff later on, but it's always better to prevent it in the first place from happening. And so, again, this is why we need to refocus on insulin resistance. And uh, if there's one kind of big takeaway uh, that people get from this session, it's, you know, ask your doctor, am I insulin resistant? Um, you, you, the patient, don't even need to fully understand what that is, um, how to test for it. Now, I believe in empowering people to understand what it is and how to test for it, because your doctor may not know. And this is where you need the extra information and you need to be able to say to them, I want a fasting insulin level. I want uh, maybe something like a what's called a lipoprotein insulin resistance score, an LPIR score. Um, if you have more basic information, you can look at your triglycerides and your HDL. And that ratio, your triglycerides divided by your HDL, can give you indications about whether or not you might be insulin resistant. Um, besides triglycerides and HDL, there are three other basic markers that we look at of metabolic health. And these are going to be your waist circumference, um, your um, blood pressure, and your fasting blood glucose level. Uh, and you can take all of those and, you know, you can... Go, you can go to my website for free, ifixhearts.com, right on the front page. You can take the quiz, which is basically just plugging in those five numbers. Uh, and that will tell you whether or not you are, you know, whether or not you are metabolically healthy. Metabolically healthy, meaning that you don't have insulin resistance. Uh, so, you know, those are the simple steps that people can take to start to figure this out.